I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Clemson's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line, Second down. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. at the 40-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Offside, defense. Concentration laps right Still there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First down and five to go. Ball on the 45. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Lawrence gets around three on that option keeper. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 47. Darts it to the right. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Nice run there as they work the outside. They get nice yardage on that run. Gaining four yards. Third down. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 14. They'll bring him down at the six. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. made at the eight yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the eight. Grabs a pitch looking for the corner. Touchdown, Clemson! Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 12-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. 
So the score now, 7-0. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. He's on the run. Room around the corner. He'll take it himself. Brought down at the 47 yard line. That's good for the game, 21 yards. First down. 47 right, 47 right. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From the 48-yard line, second down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. The Hurricanes had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. They'll make the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Kendrick is back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Clemson up seven points. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 20. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He airs it out. And he's hit immediately. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 13. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. Play action. Quick toss. On play action. Touchdown! Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he hits the PAT. A 
six-play, 80-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Rifles this one out to the left. Tackle at the 43-yard line. It's complete. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 45. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. There are three quarters remaining. Clemson's lead is two touchdowns. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 38. Call the game of six yards. Get that third down. Get off. Hey, check the light for the seven. Check the light for the seven. Switch, switch. Switch, 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 switch. He gets to about the 24 yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Let's make these babies. Hey. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, well, big time call by the defensive coordinator. Bring the blitz from the corner. One thing to bring a linebacker or a safety, but when you bring the corner, you're really taking a chance because if the quarterback recognizes that, it's kind of an easy pass. That time, the quarterback didn't see him and allowed the corner to get home and make the sack. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Swatted away. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skill. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's under some heat. Moves up and the defense has got him. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The kick is up, and he missed it left. No good. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way Let's to get go. back in it. Green, Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43 yard line. Dixon was the intended target. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. Hope back to return it. From the 15, he's tackled at the 17. 
It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Slides down. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He really got a hold of that one. Kendrick takes it at the 32. And he's hammered down. Lawrence has been known to be such a great quarterback. But when you sit down with him in person, and you look at him, you see that smile, and he just sort of exudes that confidence that you want in a guy that's playing under center. We saw that this week. Absolutely, Brad. I can remember earlier this week when he walked out of our meeting, I looked over at you, and we just kind of kind of nodded our heads in agreement that this kid kind of has that it factor that you look for. In the air, it's intercepted. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He goes out of bounds at the 38-yard line. And he's tackled right away. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. the middle has got his tail back and that sets them up with a first and goal first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line you obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well he's got good hands and you know he's good in the open field and he's tackled at the two the hurricanes use their second time out Touchdown, Canes! And he adds the extra point. Miami to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Clemson is up seven. They'll bring him down at the 33. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 41-yard line.
complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He sails it long, and they intercept it. The junior safety. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Just throws this one away. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at the 24-yard line. and they'll blow it dead. Full start, Full start. offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 19. Nice run up the middle. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. Kendrick is back awaiting the punt. He's got the corner. He's at midfield. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Clemson is up a score. He's taken down at the 30. And he just gets rid of it. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks up, and he got it! I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And that'll do it for the first half. 17-7, Tigers. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. 
innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This team accomplished one great thing in the first half. They did. They got all of their internet boards buzzing. They got social media going crazy. They got the let's fire the coach mob out there after them one more time. But I tell you, if they put themselves in a hole and if they don't stop digging, it's gonna it's gonna end badly for this team. Well, we we talk about the motivation factor every single week. Now you better get motivated. Now you got no choice. You spotted them a couple touchdowns. You're down by two possessions. Obviously, your attitude has to change. Coach's attitude has to change. You have to be more aggressive. But there's there's no overlooking this squad now. It's now or never. First possession, third quarter. You either got to get a stop or you got to score some points. It's huge to start the second half. Don't let this lead get out of hand early because then you're gonna be looking around going. We'll see what happened was. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Clemson's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Watch nine, watch nine. 47 right, 47 right. Watch 47. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Run the middle and nothing there. He's scrambling. Tackle at about the 45. King picks up about four yards after pulling the ball down and scrambling there. Kendrick back deep to return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Give to the tailback. Makes it to the 31. And he's tackled after positive yardage. After decent pickup. And down he goes at the 44 yard line. That's a team of 12 on the play. First down. He's hit immediately. Good 
job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10, ball on the 23. That's a great tackle at the 20-yard line. He'll get the call again. Nice run there as they work the outside. The 10. He's tackled at the two-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 78-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 24-7. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Lawrence's game so far, what we expected. He's a star, he's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. He's done everything we expected and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to take a game over. And, you know, we've seen it all year with him. Uh, it's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today, but it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He always seems to be able to be in command of this offense. And uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down. He's got another one. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. First down. And he's level at the 41. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From their own 41 yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. middle to his tailback and he's tackled at the 44. Kendrick is back to receive. Oh excellent punt. This punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. And he tackles him hard at the 23. Makes it out to about the 33. the 42-yard line. He may 
takes it to the 45-yard line. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. Makes it to the 47. So at the end of the third quarter, the Tigers in front, 24-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Roger, Roger. Come on, 16. Let's go, let's go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Fires back to his fullback, but he can't hang on. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Lawrence on play action, and here's a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the one. converts the extra point. So a 10 play, 81 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Potter ready to kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Screen to the back, no good. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Kendrick awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The Tigers came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you can hope for. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's still moving. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Go. 
diving for extra yardage. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and goal. goal. Touchdown. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Less than three minutes in the game. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 39. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. From their own 40-yard line, third down. He wants it all. Can't make the grab. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there and made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. They'll bring him down at the 26. Based on what I saw in the last series, this defensive coordinator better make some adjustments in a hurry. His defensive line got manhandled. Right now, he's got to think about trying to attack the line of scrimmage by maybe blitzing the linebackers to the safety. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 26. Get it again. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. That's a one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Clemson comes to the line in complete control in this game. This game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Hope will be the return man.
And so that's going to do it. The Tigers come out on top, 38-7. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.